We present Primary Mathematics for Standard 7 Pupils. In the studio is the radio teacher and two Standard 7 pupils, Hamisi and Kanene. Welcome to the program. Hello, Standard 7 pupils. In this program, we are going to learn how to work out area of trapeziums and parallelograms. Class, what is a quadrilateral? Give the answer to your teacher. Hamisi, what is a quad rattle? It is a closed four-sided figure. Good, Hamisi. Class, did you get the correct answer? Good. Teacher, write the word quad rattle on the chalkboard. A quad rattle is any four-sided figure. Class, give your teacher examples of quad rattles. Missy, give us some examples of quadrilaterals. Examples of quadrilaterals are rectangles, squares, parallelograms, and trapeziums. Good, Hamisi. Class, did you say rectangles, squares, rhombuses, trapeziums, and parallelograms? Good. All four-sided figures are called quadrilaterals. Class, tell your teacher properties of a trapezium. Kanene, what are the properties of a trapezium? A trapezium has four sides and two opposite sides are parallel. Good, Kanene. Class, did you get the answer correct? Good. A trapezium has four sides and two opposite sides are parallel. There are two types of trapeziums. One has right angles and the other does not have right angles. Teacher, Draw a trapezium A, B, C, D on the chalkboard. Line A, B is parallel to line D, C. Line A, D is perpendicular to line D, C. And line D, C is longer than line A, B. Teacher, indicate the measurements as follows. Line A, B is equal to 10 centimeters. Line DC is equal to 14 centimeters. And line AD is 6 centimeters. Class, copy the trapezium and its measurements in your exercise books. Drop a broken perpendicular line from point B to meet line DC at Y. Draw a broken line 
from point B to point D. Class, name the triangles that form the trapezium. Hamisi, name the triangles that form the trapezium. The triangles are ABD, BYC, and BDC. Good, Hamisi. Class, did you say triangles ABD, BYC, and BDC? Good. Kanene, do you see a rectangle? Yes, teacher. Rectangle ABYD. Good, Kanene. Teacher, show the pupils the rectangle on the trapezium. Class, to get the area of a trapezium, we work out the area of all the shapes in the trapezium. Then, add all the areas. In our trapezium, we can get its area by working out the area of the triangle ABD and DBC. Then, add the areas. Class, tell your teacher how we work out the area of a triangle. Hamisi, how do we work out the area of a triangle? Area of a triangle is equal to a half multiplied by the base multiplied by the height. Good, Hamisi. Class, did you say a half multiplied by the base multiplied by the height? Good. A right angled triangle has three sides. That is, the base, the height, and the hypotenuse. To get the area of a triangle, we work out half the base multiplied by height. Plus, using the formula, work out the area of the triangle ABD and give the answer to your teacher. Kanene, what is the area of the triangle ABD? Area of triangle ABD is 30 square centimeters. Good, Kanene. To work out the area of the triangle ABD, we take the base AB, which is 10 centimeters, and the height AD, which is 6 centimeters, and multiply by a half. That is, a half multiplied by 10 centimeters multiplied by 6 centimeters, which gives us 30 square centimeters. Class, what is the area of the triangle DBC? Give the answer to your teacher. Hamisi, what is the area of the triangle DBC? The area of triangle DBC is 42 square centimeters. Good, Hamisi. Class, did you get 42 square centimeters? Good. To work out the area of the triangle DBC, 
we take the base, that is DC, which is 14 centimeters, and height BY, 6 centimeters, and multiply by a half. That is, a half multiplied by 14 centimeters multiplied by 6 centimeters, which gives us 42 square centimeters. Teacher, write the following on the chalkboard. Area of the triangle ABD is equal to 30 square centimeters. Area of triangle DBC is equal to 42 square centimeters. To get the area of a trapezium, we work out the area of all the triangles that form the trapezium and then add them up. Class, add the area of the triangle ABD and the area of the triangle DBC and give the answer to your teacher. Kanene, what is the total area? The total area is 30 square centimeters plus 42 square centimeters, which is equal to 72 square centimeters. Good, Kanene. Class, did you get the answer correct? Good. 72 square centimeters is the total area of the two triangles. It is equal to the area of the trapezium. Class, we said that two opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel. Hamisi, which sides are parallel? Line AB is parallel to line DC. Good, Hamisi. Line AB is parallel to line DC. We can also work out the area of the trapezium ABCD by getting the sum of of line AB and DC, then multiply by the height AD and then by a half. Kanene, what is the sum of the two parallel sides? Line AB is 10 centimeters and line DC is 14 centimeters. Their sum is 24 centimeters. Good, Kanene. 10 centimeters plus 14 centimeters is equal to 24 centimeters. Hamisi, what do we get when we multiply 24 centimeters by 6 centimeters? When we multiply 24 centimeters by 6 centimeters, we get 144 square centimeters. Good, Hamisi. We then multiply... 144 square centimeters by a half to get 72 square centimeters. The answer is the same as in the first method. Therefore, any of the methods can be used. Teacher, write this formula on the chalkboard for pupils to copy in their books. Area of a trapezium is equal to a half multiplied by into brackets A plus B into brackets multiplied by H, where A and B are the parallel sides and H is the height. Let us now work out the area of parallelograms. Kanene, what is a parallelogram? A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two opposite sides equal and parallel. Good, Kanene. Teacher, write the properties of a parallelogram on the chalkboard. 1. Opposite sides are equal and parallel. 2. Opposite angles are equal. And 3. Diagonals bisect each other. Hamisi, what other quadrilaterals have opposite sides equal and parallel? A square and a rectangle. Good, Hamisi. Squares and rectangles have opposite sides equal 
and parallel. Kanene, how do we find the area of a rectangle? Area of a rectangle is length times width. Good, Kanene. To work out the area of a rectangle, we multiply the length by the width. Teacher, draw a parallelogram A, B, C, D on the chalkboard. Line AD is parallel to BC and equal to 3 centimeters. Drop a broken perpendicular line from point B to meet line AD at P. Line BP is 2 centimeters. The right angled triangle APB can lie on the line CD to complete a rectangle. Teacher, after the lesson, make a cutout of the parallelogram and cut out triangle APB and fit it on line CD. The figure formed is a rectangle. Therefore, the area of a parallelogram is equal to the area of a triangle. Kanene, what is the formula for working out the area of a rectangle? The area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. Good, Kanene. Length times width is equal to the area of the rectangle. Class, work out the area of the rectangle formed and give the answer to your teacher. Hamisi, what is the area of the rectangle? The area of the rectangle is 6 square centimeters. Good, Hamisi. Class, did you get the answer as 6 square centimeters? Good. Area of a parallelogram is equal to the area of a rectangle. The length of the parallelogram is equal to the length of the rectangle. The height of the parallelogram is equal to 